Hey guys, Success Crusader here, and let me tell you something that's very, very important. Listen very closely. Dogs don't bark at parked cars. They don't. So what happens is, is when you start getting that momentum going and you start getting that car moving down the road and you're moving at a fast rate, people are going to start barking at you. They're going to be naysayers. Even in the beginning, when you're trying to get unparked and get moving down the road, as soon as that car starts moving, people are going to tell you you're not smart enough, you're not talented enough, you're not good enough, you don't have the right personality, you don't have the right, that, the right amount of money, you don't have the right clothes, the right car, whatever. You're not, they're going to tell you all kinds of stupid things like that. The life, life is full of negativity. And so as you start to move down the road, people are really going to start to bark. The faster you move, the faster and, and more dogs are coming out and they're barking louder and they're telling you you can't do it and all this kind of nonsense. Well, let me tell you something. When I left my career as a law enforcement officer in 2003 to be at my business full time, guess what? Every person I talked to said the same thing. You are not going to be able to do it. You can't make a living at that. You have a good career. You've got a family to think about. What are you doing? What are you thinking about? Well, you know what? I did it anyway. I, I sought out a mentor, someone that was very successful in the business, and I did everything they told me to do. I didn't pick and choose from a buffet line of their process. I did what they told me to do, and I found a high level of success. All the while, people were chirping and chipping and chipping and barking and telling me, you can't do this and you can't do that. Well, guess what? Here I am. I did it. And um, so don't listen to these naysayers, okay? Don't listen to them. Continue your personal development. Continue building a positive attitude. We've, we, we need to start thinking about what we want to achieve and stop thinking about all the bad things that can happen. It's very, very important, uh, especially like in athletics, okay? You know, somebody hits a pop fly and you've got a new... Uh, player out there and they're looking and they're thinking in their mind, oh, please don't let me miss it. Oh, please don't let me miss it. Well, guess what happens? They miss it. So we want to think about catching the ball. Same thing with golf. You know, a lot of golfers out there. And so what happens is, is you come to a water hole, right? And you do a couple of things. One, you get a water ball out, right? You get a ball out that you don't care about losing. I used to do it. You're telling your mind that, uh, that you're not good enough to hit it over the water. And then you're saying, okay, don't hit it in the water, don't hit it in the water, don't hit it in the water. Well, guess what? The subconscious mind, that's the part of your brain, the part of your mind that, that controls all involuntary movement, your breathing, your heartbeat, all that kind of stuff. You're telling the subconscious mind that hit the ball in the water. Well, how, how are you doing that? Because you're saying don't hit the ball in the wallet. The subconscious mind does not understand the negative. So when you say don't hit the ball in the water, the subconscious mind is hearing hit the ball in the water. And you got a water ball to prove that you can't do it. And so if you want to go somewhere, if you want to hit the ball on the green, then you focus on hitting the ball on the green. If, if you're in business and, and, and you want to complete a sale or there's something that you want to achieve in life, Think about what you want to achieve. We're not going to concern ourselves with the negative. Concentrate and focus on success and you will find it.